I don't know what I'm doing, I have very little experience painting, and I don't expect this to look great. But it cannot possibly look worse than that. So, for those of you new to the left pedal, this is the eBay Eclipse. It's my 400,000 mile car, and the goal is to turn it into a 13 year old's dream car as cheap as possible. I noticed that we were going to go to Mako and see how good or bad a Mako paint job is, and I still plan on doing that, but right now I want to spray paint the hood with my little to no experience and see what kind of results we get. Also, just an update, uh, on the last episode we did end up getting it street legal. As you can see, it's registered now. So I'll talk more about that at the end of the episode. So first thing we need to do is sand what's left of this paint off of the hood. And to do so, we're going to use this $18 orbital sander I got from Walmart. We're going to start with 60 grit and move up. Disclaimer, if you actually know what you're doing when it comes to painting, this episode might make you a little grumpy. So fair warning, you're probably going to do everything wrong. So we managed to get the hood pretty smooth. Um, I am about to take the hood off and we're gonna apply some primer. All right, now we're gonna do three coats of primer about 10, 15 minutes apart and then we're gonna wait an hour and then we're gonna apply paint. So I ended up doing four coats of primer because I did a bad job covering it at first. We are going to wait about an hour, then we're going to sand it down a little bit and put some paint on it. I'd like to take this time to get off topic a little bit and introduce you guys to my friend Yard Chicken. Yard Chicken is a chicken that showed up in my yard one day and she's just stayed here ever since for about four months now. I love you Yard Chicken. Alright guys, it's been about an hour. I'm going to wipe it down, get rid of any dirt that's happened to settle on it, get rid of any excess primer. I'm going to sand it lightly with some 320 grit sandpaper and then we're going to get to paint. Alright, time for paint. Let's see how this goes. coat one looks pretty bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try using smaller lighter strokes because I'm having trouble keeping it even the whole way with these long strokes. 
I've never painted something like this big of a surface area before, so in a few minutes we're gonna do coat two. I really like coat. So the sand is coming out really rough. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm holding the gun too far away or if I'm holding it too close. To be honest with you, I really don't know. But spray paint is cheap and we're gonna keep putting coats on top of this until it looks good. Uh, right now I'm gonna try to wipe off some of the excess roughness. I'm gonna sand it down lightly with some 800 grit sandpaper and go for another coat. So we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna say right now, painters, you guys have my respect. This is a lot harder than it looks. Pro tip, when a can starts feeling empty, stop using it before this happens. This has been a disaster. Uh, so, I'm out of paint and I don't have enough sunlight to go get more paint, which is fine. I can finish it tomorrow. The only problem is I got to take it to work tomorrow. And I work in Atlanta, so I got to put the hood back on so everyone's going to see it. That's okay though. I bought this car so that I could do stuff like this that I'd never be willing to do to that or any of the other cars I've owned. And so it's a learning experience and I'm having fun and I will be back tomorrow to finish this. So. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to cut to tomorrow and then we're going to finish this up. So here's the car so far. As you can see it's still very streaky. But what you can tell here is that it's going to look really cool when it's done. So I'll go ahead and zoom in for y'all. Like it's, it's pretty bad. Painting is a lot harder than it looks and seriously my respect goes out to y'all painters I work with a lot of painters and I'm really seeing what they deal with now All right guys new day not so sad <laughs> Like I was before so we are gonna finish this up So we can do the footage we got I've come to the conclusion that I probably wasn't using enough paint um, Because there are good spots in this hood and there are bad spots, and the bad spots are rough, and I think that's between strokes. I don't know, that's just what I'm assuming. But we have seven coats of paint on here. So before I do anything, I'm gonna wash it down because it's been outside, and then I'm gonna try wet sanding it. And if we can make this look good without using any more paint, I'm gonna be happy with that. So I'm just gonna start with 1000 grit and move up from there. I can't tell if it's any better, and I feel like this is probably a long shot trying to make it look good without putting more paint on, but I'm stubborn. Believe it or not, 
that actually looks a little bit better. Keyword, a little bit. But I'm gonna keep trying and maybe this will work out. It looks really good while it's wet. <laughs> now we're gonna move up to 1500 grit. Well, it definitely feels a lot smoother. Uh, if it's gonna look better when it's dry, I really don't know, but I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> All right, now let's dry this baby off and see if I actually did anything productive. It's still drying off right now, but it is clearly still pretty streaky. It's a little better, but it's still pretty streaky. Now, I'm gonna be honest, if it wasn't for this YouTube channel, I would probably just sand that all off and restart at this point. But I really wanted to do this video. I wanted to show a realistic expectation of painting a hood for your first time. And I'm a little bit on a time crunch right now because I really want to get this out to y'all by Thursday. So we're just going to go with it. We're going to clear coat over it and we're going to see what happens. Being that I'm going to get the whole car painted anyways, I'm not too worried about it. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping I'd make a better painter, but you know what they say. There's no such thing as talent, only skill. And that is a skill that I have not yet earned. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to clear coat it. It may be streaky, but it's still definitely a lot shinier. Well, we've given it about as much time as we have for it to dry. It is almost 8.30, the sun's going down, and I have one can of clear coat. So, let's see how this turns out. I'm excited. So, this whole time, I have been watching all the YouTube videos on how to do this the right way. I've been reading it all on the internet. I've been researching and I've been trying to replicate what they're doing. Clearly, I don't have the skill to do that. I'm not a painter. I've been consistently failing at everything we've done today. So, with my one can of clear coat, I decided to just do whatever looks the best while I'm doing it. Instead of trying to keep a specific pattern or whatever, I just I just painted and that might have been really stupid I don't know but it looks okay right now and we are gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna see what it looks like if this does end up looking terrible that's alright I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm glad I get to show this to all you guys um, you know most of the reason I did this was for you guys so I'm excited to see how it turns out however it turns out so I'm going to turn the camera off and then tomorrow morning when it's dry, we're going to see what it looks like. Alright guys, I'm about to go to work, but first I'm going to reveal the Eclipse's spray painted hood. On any other car I've ever had, I would not be close to satisfied. But for the eBay Eclipse, for this project, and the amount of time, effort, money we put into it, I think that's just fine. Now the point of this video was to show realistic expectations on spray painting your car when you have no experience like myself. I hope for your sake that uh, your realistic expectations can be better than mine. I hope you can do better than this. I think gloss black might be a, a little bit of a harder color to do. I obviously lacked a lot of the skill and patience required to do this job correctly. If you do actually know what you're doing, feel free to leave a comment, uh, let people know what I did wrong and how they can do theirs better. If you just want to be mean to me and tell me how bad it sucks, all I ask is that you use a smiley face at the end of your comment. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the left pedal for more cool car stuff every week. I'll see y'all next time. Oh, by the way, the EGR code ended up not being the EGR valve at all. It ended up being the uh, return tube was just filled with carbon. So I really should have checked that before replacing the EGR valve, but I don't regret doing it. Uh, it's got no check engine lights. It's running great, so it's street legal.